this morning on CBS, it used to be a stopgap or a way to earn some extra money. Even though it is a temp, it's not a short-term solution. It's actually a long-term solution. Now, see why millions are choosing temporary work. It is 16 minutes after the hour now. Coming up next, we'll open a window on America and show you why people are choosing temporary employment as a way of life when This Morning continues. On America, it's our chance to take the time to get to know an issue, an event, or a person with a little more depth than usual. This morning, we open our window on the birthplace of American liberty in Boston, where the realities of the 90s are creating a new kind of worker, a new kind of career, and it's happening all across the country. Our senior consumer correspondent, Hattie Kaufman, is here to shed some new light on working as a temp. Good morning, Hattie. Good morning, Jane. Whether we like it or not, temporary employment is a fact of life in the 90s. It may not be the career path you'd envisioned, but now you might want to reconsider. Temporary workers as the temps of the past, the secretaries and receptionists, the clerical workers who were treated as second-class citizens. The 90s reality, however, is uh, quite different. Reality, however, is uh, quite different. You gotta get it to run, you gotta get it to run, right? Michael Register That's worked in corporate America for 10 years. Highly educated, he had skills in great demand in the computer world. When I was graduated from college, I was naive. I said full-time. I mean, I wanted, really wanted to get to a company and grow with a company. Then, twice in four years, he was downsized, laid off. The clear thing to me was to do contracting. Contracting, uh, I know the terms of the agreement. I know how long I'm there for. You know, even though it is a temp, it's not a short-term solution. It's actually a long-term solution with a lot of short-term people. So. Since 1993, That's Michael has been an employee of the Technical Aid Corporation, a temp and contract agency, specializing in placing top-level professionals with companies looking for immediate help in specific areas. In three years, Michael has successfully and temporarily helped three different companies. All right, Lou, come on in. The hardest part about all that is, is um, nowadays you have to be really savvy with planning your career. Uh, no matter what field you're in, you have to make sure you're up to date, you have the latest, greatest skills. You don't think anymore as you, as you think about the future of how well can I do that job. But it's what can I bring to the company to add value to that company? And it probably will be on a project-to-project -project basis rather than one job. One way to measure the growth in the temp business is to look at total payroll. In the last 10 years, it has jumped from $6 billion to $28 billion a year. While office clerical staff still make up the greatest percentage of temporary workers, the number of those placed into professional positions has doubled in the last five years. The unfortunate reality is, is that very few jobs are secure and uh, professional workers are realizing that it's actually more secure to be in a temping assignment than a regular job. And our temps have the option of choosing the job or not choosing the job to see if it fits in their schedule. That's the reason musician Ellie Volkhausen temps. The advantage to temping is that I can pursue my musical career and still pride myself on doing a good job at work, you know, when I'm at my job. but. Um, it means that you're not tied down like you are to a full-time job. By day, Ellie temps as a computer graphics designer for one of Boston's biggest construction projects. When this project ends, she'll be placed with another company. By night, Ellie and her band members practice and perform. They are all temp workers, temporarily. While they hone their musical skills, they receive a salary and benefits. They would rather be temps than starving artists. And there's no question, Jane, that we will see more professional temps in the future. More accountants, lawyers, healthcare workers, even CEOs. And believe this, temporary work is now a benefit on your resume. It shows an employer that you have a portfolio of skills from different jobs rather than just one skill from one job for a number of years. My, how times have changed. So what advice do you have, Hattie, for people who heard this report and are interested in becoming a temp? First of all, make sure your skills are up to date. You won't mm -hmm. get uh, a placement if they're not. And there are a lot of books on the market that can help you as well. Okay, thanks, Hattie.